Secretary of State Rex Tillerson made international headline when he said, during his confirmation hearing with the Senate, that United States should block China access to its man-made island in the South China Sea. We are going to have to send China a clear signal that, that first the island building stops and second your access to those islands is also not but going to be But that was the first time he took a clear position toward the issue, but also was the last time. No one ever heard this again. So what is the Trump's administration strategies on the South China Sea? The State Department announced that Secretary of State Rex Tillerson will travel to Japan, the Republic of Korea and China from March 15 through 19, his first visit as Secretary of State to the East Asia and Pacific region. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson will travel to Japan, the Republic of Korea and China March 15 through 19, uh, his first visit as Secretary of State to uh, the East Asia and Pacific region. In each country, the uh, Secretary will meet with senior officials to discuss bilateral and multilateral issues, including uh, strategic coordination to address the advancing nuclear and missile threat from North Korea. Uh, Secretary Tillerson will also seek to reaffirm the administration's commitment uh, to further broaden and enhance U.S. economic and security interests in the Asia-Pacific region. The Asia is, uh, of course, uh, a key engine of economic growth and dynamism uh, that the U.S. believes is crucial to the growth of its own economy. Uh, this administration is also intent on pursuing a constructive relationship with China. Uh, Secretary Tillerson has already met with uh, China's state counselor as well as its foreign minister. Uh, while remaining determined to ensuring that China abides by, its, uh, by international rules and plays fair with respect to trade, uh, regional issues, and of course human rights. The State Department clearly said, this administration is also intent on pursuing a constructive relationship with China. So the key words is constructive relationship with China. Preventing China access to those sand-built island would not be seen as constructive, but more likely an act of war. So the conclusion is, the South China Sea blockade threat will not be on Rex Tillerson's agenda during his first official visit to the region next week. The South China Sea is a shallow but endlessly complicated body of water. Six nations, including Taiwan now compete for maritime jurisdiction based on conflicting claims to sovereignty over 51 of roughly 150 islands, atolls, and specks of rock just above the waves south and east of the mainland's coast. At the moment, Trump's administration has no clear strategies on the South China Sea, besides carrying on the Obama's pivot Asia strategies and the freedom of navigation. Neither which will stop or slow down China 9-line claims in the region. On the freedom of navigation, Trump's administration deployed one of its most powerful and advanced carrier strike group including aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson to patrol the South China Sea water. This move has been well received by allies and observer. But patrolling will not stop China's military buildup and land reclamation in this disputed water.